Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand IP address in computer network. So the concept, the basic terminology of a network layer has already been discussed in our previous videos. If you haven't watched those videos, please watch those videos and come back here. And every video in our channel is going to be part of entire course or a playlist. Our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concepts. And the link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Now coming to this class, what is IP address in computer network? For example, let's consider this network. So in our previous classes in our previous classes uh, we have discussed that we have discussed that each uh, uh, the source system the source system which is uh, generating the packets is having a source address and the destination for example if you take this as the destination address to which the packets has to be reached so that destination is having an address called destination address there we have taken it as a and b for simplicity sake we have taken it as a and b but in real time in practice it is not going to be a and b it is going to be so that that representation of each and every system uniquely so uh, that uh, addresses is scheme is what we call it as ip address let's try to understand this by using this definition and uh, an ip address is the identifier used to uh, used in the ip or network layer of the TCP IP protocol suit so we have discussed two different types of uh, network architectures one is OSA the other one is TCP IP TCP IP is the practical one uh, the implementation of the implementation of OSA uh, architecture uh, to, to identify the connection of each device to the internet the very 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 important point to understand here is to identify the connection of each device to the internet so most of the times we will be under the misunderstanding that ip address is assigned to a computer no ip address is not for a computer it is it is to identify the connection of each device to the internet so this is where the system is getting connected to the internet it may be a host or a, it may be a computer or it may be a router the routers are also getting connected to the internet right so uh, the routers are the main part which which makes us to get connected to the internet so this entire network is getting connected to the router here so this connection that pin that we are going to so for more better understanding the pin that we put into the uh, e, uh, computer that pin is having so for for visualization so i am i am explaining it for visualization so that that pin will have that address not the computer computer will not have ip address so that connection to identify the connection of each device to the internet okay so that is what we call it as an ip address for example for better understanding for example uh, if the address is a and if you remove this system and bring a new system and connect here uh, uh, you remove this system and bring a new system and connect here uh, even then so the new system will have the same address a okay so the new system will have the same address a it is the connection of the uh, uh, connecting point okay the, it is the identification of the connecting point not the computer so i'm stressing more because most of the times we will un, uh, we will be under the assumption that the ip addresses is for computers no it is for the connecting point which which uh, which makes us to which makes our device uh, to connect to the internet okay so that is what we call it as an ip address and versions of ip addresses there are two versions of ip addresses one is ipv4 which is 32 bit long and the other one is ipv6 which is 128 bit long in our entire course we are going to discuss only about ipv4 so ipv6 is uh, uh, beyond the scope of this course so uh, it is going to have so the version of ipv6 is going to have different uh, okay uh, different mechanisms and it is 128 bit long and this is 32 bit long okay so uh, let's try to see your first ip address an example of ip address this is an example ip address this is how the ip addresses will look like 
सी so this is an example IP address how it is designed and uh, how uh, are there any different any other ways to represent these IP addresses all these concepts we will try to understand in our later class at this point of time just try to have this visualization replace so far we have seen that so far we are under the assumption that each computer is having an address a from now on it is not a it is this ip address this is how the addresses will get represented and it is a version 4 ip address so uh, how those uh, ip addresses are represented and all those the the complete knowledge about ip addresses we'll try to understand in our later class hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching